repercussions on your professional life. It could cost you your current job or future job opportunities. According to data from Public Relations Society of Kenya, 91% of employers use social media to screen candidates during the hiring process and about 47% of employers use social media to check on current employees. Apollo James tells us more. Employers look at social media accounts for an array of reasons, but many do that because they want to make sure the candidate is the right fit. Everyone t tends to, to put their best foot forward or an act when they're looking for a job. So even CVs are fabricated, like people even download CVs, people look for professionals to work on their CVs. It's not really what is them, you know, it's not a true reflection of who they are. Take, for example, James Macau who thinks that social media screening is biased and that anything someone posts is personal and should not be used against them during recruitment. Everyone um, has the right to express themselves, you know. Um, if you feel maybe my posting don't align with your values, I mean, that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Um, and maybe uh, the reason um, I'm posting that is because I also believe in it. Um, and for that, we can disagree on different situations and matters. Most employers view LinkedIn as secondary resume for candidates than other social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If probably I haven't picked that information on social media, maybe you've deleted it. Somehow, if I am determined to really go into details and find out exactly who you are, I would probably do that because maybe I would do those calls and maybe then call someone who's not on your CV as your reference uh, check. While the fear of something embarrassing being discovered by prospect employers might tempt some job seekers to completely erase their online persona, some say it's a totally unfair process. If you do some background information and then maybe you find some info which is uh, and you're a bit reserved about it, best practice is either you call this person because at the end of the day you still like them, you have selected them, there's something good you saw in them. According to the data from the Public Relations Society of Kenya, these are the leading types of posts and behaviors that left employers with a bad impression. Job candidate posted provocative and inappropriate photographs, videos or information about them drinking or using drugs, discriminatory comments related to race, gender, religion, lying about their qualification, but mouthing their previous company or fellow employees, candidate screen name was unprofessional or being linked to a criminal behavior. Apollo James, Switch TV. Thank you, Apollo James.